I love my Garmin Zumo XT, but one of the biggest things that concerns me is when I park the bike, I feel like I have to take it off and put it in the trunk or put it somewhere, carry it with me, because it could be very easy to steal with the Garmin mount. This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. One of the biggest concerns I have is when I park my motorcycle using the Garmin mount, it's very easy just to walk up and pop it off if you know how it works. And you don't want to, you know, leave a $400 GPS sitting around waiting for somebody to steal it. Why Garmin has not addressed this issue, I'm not really sure. Our friends over at Moto Pumps have decided to do something about that. Now, a, maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, I reviewed another product that, that one of my viewers just kind of came up with on his own. And uh, it works. It's a way of securing that Zumo XT on the motorcycle. Uh, it, but it, it was a little bit clunky and unprofessional, but it did work. It very And he wasn't really set up as a business, so I'm not really sure if he even sells those. But Moto Pumps has come out with a way to do this, and it looks like a what well, it might be a pretty elegant solution. So let's take a look at it and see how it works. I'm going to take one of these little keys out of here. Maybe it'll make sense once I... Ah, it unscrews. I see how it works. So basically, this is a threaded piece. Okay, now I see how this works. This basically mounts between the Zumo and the mounting plate. And this little silver pin will basically s impede someone from being able to press down that button uh, to release the Zumo. However, if you do need to push down that button, you can then use this little threaded key and unscrew this post. Let's go give it a try, see how this thing works. I'm basically going to remove the four screws that hold the Garmin mount to my Ram ball mount. Doesn't matter what kind of mounting system you're using. This plate should fit in between. Now I'll reinstall with this plate in place. So this is what it looks like with the Moto Pumps lock installed. You can see that this silver bar here prevents this button from being depressed and what you have to do is you have to remove this bar using this little key and it slips in here and it's uh, you can un unscrew it basically and remove it so the idea is you put this in here and you unscrew it like this then you remove this. Once you've removed that, now the button functions normally. So you can attach or remove the GPS unit itself. And then once you have that back on, you slip this back in and let's screw it down. It's nice to give you this little knurled key so that you can... Uh, get a little better grip on it. And you want to make sure you get it on there very tight because otherwise somebody could theoretically come up here, get their finger and start unscrewing this. But it is, I, I put it in there so tight and it's so slippery, I can't do it. Now that that's in there and tightened, there's no way to get that button to go down. It, this is actually a pretty ingenious, simple, why the hell Garmin didn't do something like this, I'll never know. Because that is a really simple solution to a problem that a lot of people face. You can order this Garmin lock directly from the Moto Pumps website. 
And hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help our YouTube rankings. And I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.